Hey, God bless you, everybody. Not going to be before you long. So sometimes the Lord will use um, movies and, you know, he'll use all sorts of things to get, you know, his point across as an analogy. Um, so last night, um, while while I was waking up, I had a, a dream of a couple of clips from the Ariel movie. Now, I haven't watched the new one, but... Um, it doesn't matter because it's a dream. So I'm seeing clips, like clips from the, the movie. And I'm seeing a part. And I don't know if this is in the movie or not, but this is just my dream. I'm seeing a part where Ariel is at the bottom of the ocean. And she's looking up and she sees light, like sunlight, you know. And she's longing to, like, go up there, you know, go up on land. And then I'm seeing a clip of where she has no voice and she's getting the voice back. Somehow she gets her voice back, just like in a movie. Somehow she gets her voice back and um, she's able to talk. And that was the end of the dream. So what God is saying here, and this is for whoever it's for, what God is saying here is that, and I'll work backwards so what God is saying here is that some of you, your voice has been um, limited or just taken from you. And it's not that you made a deal with the enemy, but it's like the enemy is in agreement with you. It's not that you made like literally went up to Satan and was like, OK, I'll make a deal with you. If this goes right, then blah, blah, blah. It was more of um, you made a deal within yourself. Like, I'm going to be quiet. I'm not going to speak out. I'm not going to be the fullness of who I am or speak out in the fullness of, of what God wants me to speak out. And whether that be writing a book, whether that be teaching, whatever it is, or whatever thing that God has called you to do, you you have decided that you're either not going to speak out or you're going to limit yourself to a certain extent. You're going to do it halfway because of the the ridicule and the backlash that comes from speaking out the fullness of what God wants you to speak out. Because as you know, if you are truly uh, following after the Lord, everything that you say is not going to be popular. And so you have made a deal within yourself not to speak out to, to the fullness. And um, the enemy has come alongside with you and agreed that okay we're gonna we're not going to um you're not gonna speak out as as much or or at all um and then that way you won't be you won't get the backlash and it's like the moment that you do start to speak out that's when the battle begins and so you kind of recede back into yourself and I remember in the beginning of the year um, I, I had, uh, the Lord had given me something that said in 2023, it's time to be me. And in 2023, it's time to be me. And that, that word came out, that word came forth and it's like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. But then while you're living it, while you're in it, in your day to day, you're not realizing that the enemy is constricting your voice. The enemy is trying to stop you from talking. And so in those those times where you had those um, split decision, uh, split moments of split decision where it's like, well, should I say this? Somebody's asking me a question about something that could be uh, controversial. Somebody's asking me a question about something and you are limiting yourself on how much you say or what you say. You know, I'm not saying like, at your place of work going to intercom and just, you know, you know, say something, just be out there. I'm not saying that, but sometimes there's opportunities that come up for you to share um, the love of God or if somebody's coming to you with a sincere question about, you know, certain, you know, sins or whatever that you need to open your mouth and speak. But because of the fear, we don't because of the of the fear of being um, ridiculed and having that backlash come upon us, we don't speak what God wants us to speak. 
Um, and some of you have spoken out and are getting the backlash and getting the view to ridicule and getting the humiliation or whatever it is that you're getting that that's negative so some of you have spoken out and you're you're feeling that repercussion of that because every time that you uh, i'm not gonna say every time but a lot of times when you speak out then the enemy wants to come and give you um i don't want to say punishment but wants to 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 um stab at you to make you not want to talk out again because you remember the last time you spoke out and the negative things that happened so you're like well I don't even want to do that no more so this is why and I'm not saying that this happens all the time but um it happens enough to where the enemy is like I'm going to try to stop you in your tracks like nip it in the bud before it grows and so the first part of the dream as i said i went to work backwards here the first part of the dream was ariel was in the water and she was looking up and and seeing the sunshine and wanted to come up well i believe god is saying right there that look up you know when you're going through all this stuff you need to look up and realize where your help comes from your help comes from the Lord. And he's saying that he's with you. He's He's saying that he's with you. And even though, you know, it may hurt and it may feel like, you know, your your old wounds may be opening up again. And God is saying, look up. He sees it, that He's his light is shining upon you to do what you need to do in these last days. And his grace is sufficient and he's with you and he sees it and he knows. And great will be your reward for going through, for doing what he's called you to do. And um, remember, Jesus said, hey, they, they hated me, so, you know, they're going to hate you too. You know what I'm saying? No, I ain't, I'm not saying like... <laughs> I'm not saying that every day is going to be like horrible, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But eventually, you know, once the enemy sees that he's he's not going to be able to put you in a corner or back you, continue to back you up. Once he sees that, all right, that didn't work, that didn't work. He's going to leave. Not going to say he's going to leave forever, but, you know, he's going to leave and then try to come back at some other time. But, um you know that you need to you need to be praying um in the morning you know seek the kingdom early in the morning before you go off to do whatever it is that you're going to do before you before you go to um preach or teach or um whatever it is that you do make the before you make the video whatever it is that you do you know you need to seek the lord in the morning um and pray against backlash pray against because some people say there ain't no backlash oh okay but pray against all that stuff um and uh command your morning you know and some of that stuff could um and, and ask the lord to protect your heart to protect your heart to um plead the blood over your heart and you know because what's coming to my mind now is that we overcome by the blood of the lamb. And I know I'm saying it out of other way. They overcame by their testimony and the blood of the lamb. So a lot of it is just your voice is, is sometimes could be your testimony. You speaking out, whether it be, like I said, in a book or you, you know, speaking out somewhere or teaching, whatever it is. A lot of it can be your testimony. That's how we overcome and people need to hear it. They need to hear your story. Um, they need to hear how you overcame. And um, the enemy's trying to take your voice so that you don't speak out. So, all right, guys. I love you. And until we meet again, like, share, and subscribe.